Hello. Today we're going to talk. What is that noise? Oh, what's going on? It's so loud. Oh, that's right. Today we're talking about. Shh. We're talking about sound. Sound is a form of energy, like light or electricity. Sounds are made by small vibrations called sound waves. Sound waves move by the squeezing and stretching of air. When a sound occurs, molecules are squeezed together. One molecule squeezes into the next one and then pulled back in place by the one on the other side. The molecules move the sound along in a wave. Scientists study sound waves on a machine called an oscilloscope. Loud sounds have more energy, so their waves are bigger and have a greater height. Soft sounds create smaller waves. The height of a wave is called its amplitude. The frequency, or the number of vibrations per second, determines a sound's pitch. Sound frequency is measured in hertz. The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch, and the greater the hertz. Yeah, I only have one page Humans can hear sounds between 20 and 20,000 hertz but other animals can hear even more. Elephants can hear sounds much lower than humans can. And bats hear frequencies much too high for humans. Bats use high-pitched sound waves like radar to locate their food. And just because we can't hear very high and very low frequency sounds, it doesn't mean we can't use them. Scientists try to detect very low infrasonic sounds to study potential earthquakes and to predict volcano eruptions. Doctors use very high frequency sounds to take pictures inside the human body, like these of a baby inside a woman's womb. Sound waves exert pressure. The amount of a sound's pressure or loudness is measured in decibels. Decibels is also a measure of intensity. The closer you are, the stronger the force. So say you're standing next to leaves in a light wind. That sound would measure about 10 decibels. A toilet flush is about 67 decibels. Your hair dryer is about 80 decibels. And the space shuttle taking off is about 200 decibels. Prolonged exposure to sounds above 85 decibels can damage your hearing. So be sure to wear earplugs if you're doing something around loud sounds. And be sure the volume in your headphones is set at a safe level. Sound surrounds and defines our world. So listen up and appreciate sound. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website or check our related videos. And if you like Science Trek, be sure to click the subscribe button to catch our newest videos.